Uh, it's that time again. We are going to try and save a League 2 club from relegation. I'm feeling quite confident about this one. Because I don't, I don't really know who's bottom of League 2 yet. So let's take a look and see who's bo who is bottom of League 2. So as you can see, I have got up the League 2 table on BBC Sport again. So let's take a look at a bottom, who is bottom. I generally... I, before I looked at the table, I was thinking Stockport at bottom, but no, they're not, they're fifth. So let's take a look. Rochdale. See, I'm, I'm surprised about that, because I thought Rochdale are a pretty decent side. I think we could definitely avoid relegation with them, but I don't really know what sort of team they've got, so it might be a bit tricky, it might be hard. Don't really want to get sacked. But you never know. So let's add ourselves as Rochdale FC manager. As you can see, we have been hired by Rochdale FC. And uh, once again, like with Forest Green and Wigan, they've only offered me a one year deal, which is fine because we're, we're only going to be safe for one year. I've replaced previous manager Jim Bentley. I don't know how long he's been at the club for. I can't imagine that long or he might have been there for ages we'll check we'll check in on how long he was actually at the club that worthy that's the reputation of a survival specialist yeah i mean i did a win relegation with wigan Forest screen yeah we won't talk about that then which increased an intriguing dynamic with many pundits expected him to face a battle to avoid relegation this season uh, I, don't know, I don't know where we're predicting. Oh, we're, oh, good. We're predicting to finish 24th at the moment, but that could change towards the beginning of the season. Two star reputation. <laughs> Got transfer budget of 10,000, so we might look towards loans, freebies if there's any available. And that all depends how, how big our squad is. So our best 11 at the moment is Eastwood. Shiriki, Reese Bennett, Cameron Johns, Jimmy Keohane. I mean, back when he was playing for Exeter, he was like he was like a winger or centre mid or striker even. Now he's a full back. <laughs> Absolute crazy. Then uh, in the midfield, there's Diag Diagraga. I butchered that name and Liam Kelly. Then. Daniel Lloyd, Ian Henderson, Abraham Odo, 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 I don't know. Then who's that? Damani Menor. I think he used to play for Man United, or at least was a youngster there. Might be unknown. So the board wants us to sign players under the age of 23. That's all well and good if we can like, sell some players. Work within the range budget, that's fine, we'll see how much we've got left. Grow the club's reputation, that's probably not going to be possible, because I've only stayed there for one year. Maximum one year contracts for players over the age of 33, that's fine. So basically, they really only want us to care about the League 2. They don't care about any of the other trophies. So that's fine by me, because I don't care about the other trophies. Uh, no, we don't want a interest score friendly because, quite frankly, I think that's pointless. So, get this all saved up, then we'll take a look at the squad, see what we're working with. By the looks of it, it's actually quite a decent squad. There's only like five players that are two and a half stars. Um, Jim McNulty, I kind of want to get him gone or give him a new contract just as a coach. Can we do that? I, just, I don't want him play. No, I can't do that. We just we'll just forget he exists. I think I think that's a good idea to have. Um, we've got two. Uh, Ian Henderson. Can we get him gone? But he does have three. Okay, okay. <laughs> so we've got Demani Mello, very good striker, very quite pacey as well. On loan from Wickham, so that's quite good. How many known players do we have in this squad? So we've got Femi Sirecki. Obviously he's a right back. So definitely playing a four at the back system at the moment. 
Jake Eastwood. Decent, at least we've got a decent goalkeeper. That's something we certainly did not have at either Wigan or Forest Green. But thankfully we've got one here. There he is, good fan of Ramon Astral. But I'm sure he'll make the step up to League 2. We've actually got two very good goalkeepers. Richard O'Donnell as well. What's he? He's good fan of Ramon Astral as well. Okay, that's fine. So we've got Demani Mello, striker, Reese Bennett, very good centre back, so it's definitely forward at the back. Scott Quickly is another striker. We've got a lot of good strikers. So we've got Mello, Quickly, Ian Henderson, but he is 37, so he probably won't play. So we've got Jimmy Keohane, he's out for three to six weeks. What well, I don't know what he is. Is he a right back? Is he a left back? He's a inverted wing back. I don't know what that is. What is an inverted ring back? Okay, so it's a bit like a inside forward, but inverted winger, but like at the back. I get that. I think I think I can play him there. I, I haven't really played inverted ring backs on this game before. This will be a first one. Daniel Adshed, he, he looks like a quality player. I think Spencer FC had him on his hashtag United career. I think he was pretty good from what I remember. I think that's a pretty good sign. He started off that rock show. I don't realise that. Not bad. Not bad sign. Not a bad player, that. Getting Cameron John. So he is, he's definitely a left back, not a centre back. But that's fine. There's, we've got a left back. That's a good fine. Obviously, you looked at Jake Eastwood. Liam Kelly. Very good. It's like a very good centre mid. Mazala. My kind of centre mid. So you've got Ethan Ebank Sandell, former Wolves player. So I know that. That's fine. We've got some. I think we've got a good, some good players and some oldish players like Diagora. Dia, no, no, it's not Diagora. Diagoraga. Centre mid, defensive mid. Probably won't play much. What well, was it? She played a full season at Morecambe last year, so that's not too bad. He might play some games, but he is thirty-five. What's his league? He's league two, so he might he might play. So we've also got Ethan Beale. He's, he's a youngster. He's joining Blackburn at the end of this year. Oh, okay, that's fine. That doesn't doesn't concern me. Obviously, then we've got Shiriki. He's a right back. So we've got two right backs. That's fine. Don't need any others. Oh, there we don't. Or do we? No, we don't. We don't have to. I mean, I guess we've got Jimmy Key here. I guess he is probably better right back. He's technically a right wing back. But he can play right back. So probably we need a left back. I don't really know what we need. So I reckon. I don't know. I don't know what sort of wingers we've got. Let's take a look at wingers. Obviously, Sirikis a what's Rodney? He's a striker, but can play out on the wings. So we've got Abraham Odo. I'm not gonna lie, he's quite terrible, but he's got good potential. Decent Valerab and Astral, but I don't think there's much of a difference between Valerab and Astral and League Two. I think they're pretty similar. I think that is one position we're lacking. And that's wingers, because we've really only got Odo and Danny Lloyd. Those are pretty much our two out and out wingers. And Tyreek Sinclair is out on loan at Ultrigan and definitely not good enough. So, um, hide the players that are not at the club. So, maybe 43 1? Oh, uh, Danny Lloyd's injured. Oh, Danny Lloyd's injured for four to at uh, the five to six months. That's not good. That's not good at all. I think we do need some wiggers. Oh, uh, um, uh, Tavon Campbell's out for four to four weeks to two months. Um, uh, Max Taylor three to four months. How big is this squad? It does. It just doesn't seem very big. It's only 24, that's probably one of the smallest squads I've actually had so far, coming into a new club, so I think I can work, do something with this. So, 
Jim McNulty, we're just going to forget he exists. We're going to move it down to the under-21s. But he is a coach anyway, so it's not like it's going to matter too much. So, goalkeepers, so Donald Eastwood. Centre-backs, we've got Ebat Sandel, Toby Mullakai, Max Taylor, Sindrid, Sam Graham, so uh, Reese Bennett. So I think we're all good for centre-backs. So right-backs, we've got Suriki and Keohane. Left-backs, we've just got A.D. White and uh, Cameron John. So my opinion, defence. We are all sorted because, yeah, we've got nine defenders. That's fine. Defence is pretty good, I'd say. It's really only Sam Graham I'm not too sure about. But he is only 21. We might loan him out. Might sell him. I don't know. Said to minutes, we've got Diagora. Diagora, I got whatever. Liam Kelly. Ethan Brierley. Daniel Adsheed. James Bulls is said to mid as well. Okay, so we kind of need, uh, Ian Henderson is a, he's a striker, but I'm always tempted to play just a box standard 4-4-2, because we've got loads of strikers. We've got Quigley, Mellor, Campbell, Rodney, Henderson, Odo is a, he can play right mid and left mid, so... I think I think we might we might just play a flat box standard four four two. At least for until January, then I can figure out what sort of position what sort of tactic I will like to play. So still wing play four four two I guess. Let's keep it simple for now, then we might move into like a vertical tiki taka four three three when we have the players. Then also put on a Giga Press four two three one which is Usually my go-to formation, but for now we'll play a 4-4-2. See if we can uh, sell any players. We'll accept all that. So I am almost tempted to play our our first league two game this episode, but I don't think that's a good idea because I think how I've done all the other the other two clubs, I think that's done pretty well. Yeah, so I don't think I'm going to play the crew game in the, this episode. Probably be the next episode. So I think that's what we'll do. So I will come back just before our crew game. And hopefully I may have sighted some players. Or I may have sold some players. Or I might not have done anything. Well, we are at the day of the first season game which will be played in tomorrow's episode I have decided I think it's a pretty much a bad idea to play the first league game in this episode because it just just, just doesn't follow along on your storyline because this episode is all about exploring Rochdale we haven't really done much of it but I think we've sort of got a grasp of what sort of club we are I think we can definitely say it, but I've made a few signings, I haven't sold anyone else of yet, because I just don't think I need to sell anyone. I don't think I have, no I haven't. But we have bought in two players, just, just two, because I think that's pretty much all we needed. So, first signing we made was Tyree Wilson. He is technically a winger, but we are training him up to play left midfield. So I reckon he could be a solid winger. He's not that fast, but he's only two and a half star, five star potential. Currently in Fanarama National, but could be Sky Bet League One standard in the near future. Got him on a free transfer from Derby. So it's not a bad signing. And then that signing we made was Stuart Sinclair. He is a, he's technically a sentiment, but we are going to play him as a, Defensive winger on the right hand side. I mean, I must say, what what a beard! Kevin Chapman would be proud of Lulujo. He, he'll be proud of that signing. What what a beard he's got! What an absolute moustache! I'd love to have a beard like that someday, but I just don't want to. <laughs> so he, he's currently performing at a good D two level, but he's unlikely to improve. But he is thirty four. 
quite quite an experienced player. He's previously had spells at Luton, Cambridge City, Bedford, Dunstable, Alsea, Salisbury, Bristol Rovers, then most recently Warsaw and now to us in, at Rochdale. So quite a journeyman, played pretty much all over England I'd say. Or are they mainly in the north? I mean Bristol Rovers is definitely in the south. But mainly up north. And that's pretty much all the transfer business we've done. I don't think we need to sign anyone else because our squad is pretty big at the moment. Got currently got a squad of about I think 27, 25, so that's pretty much the maximum I would really have it. And in terms of left midfielders, I think, yes, we've only got one fit left mid, but we've got Wilson, and Danny Lloyd will be your left, our backup left mid when he's eventually back. We might get a lone left mid, but we are at our, I think we got five loans in at the moment yes we do so I don't think we need any other loans maybe one more but I, I'm not I don't think we should get another loan I might keep an eye out on a free transfer but I don't think don't think many there's many free transfers about I will just take a quick look no there isn't so I guess I will call it there as I will see you in tomorrow's episode where we really will be playing our very first League 2 games as Rochdale manager, which will be against Crew, Alexandra and Gillingham. If you have enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more Denver Football Manager videos, and thank you very much for watching!